So how did Marjorie Taylor Greene cause a, quote, bleep show in front of our nation's top generals? Well, you better stick around because we're going to both show you and tell you. On the Beyond Politics podcast, which is co-hosted by Matt Robeson, who you know from here, as well as former Congressman Paul Oates, they had on Congressman Steve Cohn, who was at an actual hearing where Marge stood up to challenge the generals. They're the most strategically brilliant guys and gals to put up to the level of top generals. Marge, all she had to do was dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to get past those Semitic light shafts shooting down from space to get there. Clearly, she must know more than they do. And from there, let's let Congressman Steve Cohn take it. I went to a classified briefing, and it was on the balloon. There was a good crowd there, and there were six or seven administrative leaders, uh, the general in charge of ORAD, and uh, either deputies or leaders of the security agencies. And they made a nice presentation on how we were concerned about collateral damage to people if we shot the balloon down over the United States. Three buses, 200 feet. If it's shot down, will it hit people? You don't want it to have anybody die, et cetera, et cetera. And they, they explained it well. At the end, there were only about 10 of us left in the room. And Marjorie Taylor Greene got up and had her chance to speak. And she got up and she, it was unbelievable. I mean, I, I waited to see her because I knew it would be a shit show. And she got up and she says, I'm just going to speak to you like the average American. Do you embarrass the president of the United States? He let this balloon fly over the United States, but there was no press in there. And she went, we didn't know what was in that balloon. It could have been nuclear material. It could have been radiation. We didn't know what was in that balloon. And you let it fly over our country for eight days. That was just shit. It was bullshit. And I don't believe anything you're telling us. And you're giving us a bunch of uh, we think and we might and this and that. Then she finished her diatribe and there was nobody there to listen to it. it was about 10 of us. And, and then the, one of the fellows up on the panel, I was proud of him. He, he started speaking and responding to her and she interrupted him and he jumped by right in. He said, ma'am, I didn't interrupt you and I appreciate you're not interrupting me. And she shut up, <laughs> but she's unbelievable. She made a fool of herself. She made a total absolute fool of herself. Didn't know what she was talking about. And it was just typical of her, you know, Jewish space lasers and all that kind of stuff. And there you have it, fool Marjorie Taylor Greene's shit show as she challenged top generals and, well, forgot that she's part Madagascar hissing cockroach, I believe we called her, and part Halffield's pub spittoon. That's why Marjorie Taylor Greene will keep making a fool of herself when she challenges generals and challenges other members of Congress and really even toddlers.